Man, Kenny, that is the last colonoscopy I wanted to do today. But you know what? With this inflation, you got to do what you got to do to pay for these truck parts. Hey, everyone. Debra with OBS Solutions. And tonight, we're going to drop our Hydro Boost. That's right. We are finally out with it. But before you rush to the website and click that buy button, hold on a minute. We want to explain. There's three different options with our Hydro Boost. We want to give you the rundown on what they are. <laughs> That's what a P-Trap does. No. Oh, let's talk about why we did the Hydro Boost. Well, the cowboy truck back there has F Super Duty Hydro Boost system on it. And if you don't know what F Super Duty is, Kenny, what's the difference in that and an F-350? It's like the super heavy duty version, like an F-450 or a 550 for people that are familiar. So big frame, Kay. heavy duty suspension. Got it. Rear disc brake. Got it. Factory Hydro Boost. All right, that's enough. We they got the point. A lot of heavier duty stuff. The Hydro Boost was rad on those trucks. Used to be, you go to a junkyard, you could find, usually you find a kind of F Super Duties floating around the junkyard. You could grab the pedal assembly, because the pedal assembly is different. And you could find the Hydro Boost. You could find the lines. You could even source out a Hydro Boost and the lines at a parts house reman. Uh, it was easy peasy. Nowadays, it's getting really tough to find a quality Hydro Boost. Uh, for F Super Duty. They're made overseas. They're actually, they're remanned overseas. They're junk. Lines I uh, lines getting tough too. More importantly, there's a pedal assembly. This guy right here. Now, this is a non-F Super Duty pedal assembly. The difference between a F Super Duty and a non is the pin location. The pin location on an F Super Duty was, was a little bit higher, which then if you tried to use your factory pedal assembly and find a F Super Duty Hydro Boost, the push rod was gonna be in the wrong location and on the wrong plane. It was actually, it would bind when you go to apply the brakes. Our kit doesn't do that. Now what this is, this is an 05 Hydro Boost off of Super Duty, which are readily available. This, ours are actually brand new Motorcraft. We have our proprietary plate system and our Clevis as well. And what that does allow you, allows you to bolt this to the fa your firewall. All the holes are the same, no drilling, right up to your factory holes. And the pin location lets the push rod be perfectly flat, which gives you the best braking. Also, the cool part about this is we have line assemblies for U73 guys. Now, I'm gonna back up because people may not go, what's the difference between a vacuum booster and a hydro booster? Kenny, you wanna give them a little 411 on that? It's hydraulics. You're using fluid power for your assist instead of just air and vacuum from the engine. Which makes, well, thank you, Kenny, which makes your braking a lot easier. Now, people may think, oh my God, my pressure's gonna be too much in my, in my brake system. That's not true. There was a video we did uh, last week where Oscar and I checked pressures on this truck, which has our Hydro Boost kit on it, and our shop truck, which is all stock, and the pressures were identical. Very cool, but the braking experience is 10 times different. On the Hydro Boost, when you go to apply the brake, there's literally no effort when stopping. On the vacuum, you gotta put some effort in and apply the brakes. And you guys all know that if you're still running the vacuum style booster. So that is the difference. That's the why we did this. So basically you spent three minutes telling us that it just makes it easier to press the pedal and stop the truck. Yeah, basically that's all I did. I was reading a magazine about plumbing stuff too. You might get back to that. Let's check this kit out. All right, let's talk about options now. Option one. I like to call it the truck rod option. Kenny likes to call it what? The bare necessities. What's that from? Jungle Book. That's right. All right. Option one is our Hydro Boost system with our plate assembly and our proprietary clevis and the fittings to go from the Ford factory uh, thread pitch to AN style so you can build your own lines for maybe like a 460 or you want to do a Cummins swap or a 351 running a desolate kit. So you want to just sell me the plate and the clevis and I'll buy a pump and save some money? Dude, I would totally love to do that, but no, we can't because we have to install the plate assembly and more importantly, we have to modify the push rod with our clevis. That way it's all compact and goes onto the factory pedal assembly. All right, makes sense. Now, let's talk about option two. This is for you 7.3 guys. This is option one with all the bells and whistles like I talked about, but we give you a full hose assembly so you don't have to source out hoses. Now, let's talk about option three. Option three is the same as this, but we include this. What this is is a 99 to 04 power steering pump. The difference, not much, except it runs two return lines. Makes your life a little bit easier when running the return system. Kind of cool. And the 99 to 04 were already meant for running Hydro Boost back in the day. So if I'm getting rid of my vacuum booster, I don't need my electric or my vacuum pump. 
You don't need your vacuum pump. You're right. You don't need it, except you will need it for one thing, and that would be your climate control, your heater selections, all that stuff. That is vacuum run. But we got an option for you guys on that one as well. Another option, Kenny. Uh, it is an electronic Super Duty vacuum pump. It locates onto the firewall. You just wire it in, very easy install. And then the kit comes with the upgraded belt tensioner and belt, so then you can get rid of that ugly, noisy vacuum pump. So I can't use my original vacuum pump with this kit? Is that what you're saying? Dude, you could totally use your factory vacuum pump. We give you a uh, plug to block off the port there that went through your vacuum booster on the, on the vacuum tree. And uh, you can rock that all day long. In fact, that's what Oscar has under the hood of his truck. So we got options. Several options. So we're talking new pump. Yes. This is a, this is this now back up. This Hydra Boost is brand new. It's not a reman. This is a Motorcraft brand new pump. We have brand new power steering pump. And like I said, the lines are all made. They're actually not just a universal. They're crimped. Bolt on, baby. That's right. All right, let's talk about this truck here. This is a 460 that's bored over to a 520 stroker. It produces all the ponies, all that wonderful stuff, makes cool noises. Now, if you look, this would be your option one, if you will. This truck, we used our Hydro Boost system, obviously, but we paired it with a different master cylinder. We did a 05. The reason why, an 05 master cylinder has an inch and a half uh, bore, a little bit bigger for the 99 to 04 axles that are underneath this truck with bigger brakes. How big is that bore, Devin? Inch and a half, I said. I didn't stutter. Oh man, how, how big is the stock bore? Uh, inch and three eighths. I just added that for effect. Yeah, so not a little bit different there. What's cool is though, this stalker right here, directly bolts to your fact to that factory Hydro Boost right there, the 05 one. It's plug and play, it's really simple. So you don't have to break your lines open. You just pop it off there, move it to the side, put the Hydro Boost on there, put it back on. Let's go look at another truck. Okay, so this would be option number two for you. By the way, it's the Oscar's truck. Not bad, we like to give him a hard time about it though, being dirty. Uh, Oscar's running obviously the Hydro Boost system, but he is still rocking the factory master cylinder. He is uh, rocking the factory vacuum pump as well. He's di he did the full line kit and did the 99 to 04 uh, power steering pump. That would be option number two for you guys. And I gotta tell you, this truck we put a ton of miles on and we like did four wheel braking with this thing, like just locked him up. It was awesome. Just flat stop, flat spot of the tires, amazing. Big change. I think it's option three because he got the pump too. That's true, that would be option three, you're right. So technically it'd be option three. Okay, everyone, I hope that answers all your questions about this wonderful little braking system right here. Uh, oh, gas guys, we are working on line system or a line kit for you guys. Uh, our Bronco needs a Hydro Boost, so we'll, we'll tackle that with the 351s, the 302s, and obviously 460 guys, because I think we need to put a Hydro Boost in our 460 shop truck. On the website, live right now, what, Kenny? OBS Solutions, what? Dot net. Dot net. Thanks, everyone.